Depression is a common and serious mood disorder that affects nearly one in five adults, or let's put that into 19 million people in the United States. Now for these patients, the appropriate treatment may be life saving, yet half of patients with depression will fail to respond to their first prescribed medication, which leads patients to on a medical odyssey of trial and error treatments that can last for years. So Dr. Michael Genovese is going to talk about what the latest genetic test breakthroughs mean for those faced with depression and mental illness. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Tina. And I kind of gave some of those uh, shocking statistics on what a big problem this is. And I know we're going to be talking about treatment options. What are some of those that are available? Yeah, well, there are a lot of treatment options out there, and you stated correctly, it's a big problem. And um, you also pointed out that it's a difficult disease to treat. The thing you have to know is that now we have technology that lets us choose the right treatment for the right patient more quickly. Uh, so that's really, really encouraging. It's uh, sort of a new era in the treatment of depression. Well, and when I was talking about half of those patients kind of going on that random trial and error, why do you think that we're having such a fail rate? Well, so the choice of medication for depression used to be very subjective, but now we have an objective scientific way through the gene site test of choosing the right medication for people based on their own individual DNA. And that's the kind of that breakthrough that I was talking about, trying to get past uh, that fail rate. So kind of tell me a little bit more about this uh, gene site and this testing and who's really a perfect candidate for this. Oh, those are all really good questions. So um, the gene sight test, uh, a patient can come into my office and it's, it's a simple cheek swab and then we can send the sample off and then we get back a report. And by looking at your DNA, I can look at your specific DNA so it's truly personalized medicine. And I can tell which medications you're more likely to benefit from and which medications you're more likely to have side effects from. And so instead of having to go through multiple medications to get to the right one, we're able to get to the right medication for you much more quickly and get you back to where you want to be feeling, uh, which is incredibly important in medicine. And I'm sure this is absolutely music to a lot of people's ears that have that have been going through these years and years of trial uh, and error. Since you've been able to see firsthand, doctor, uh, what this has been doing for patients, what has been the feedback? Oh, it's completely changed the way we treat depression. Uh, very recently, I had a woman who came to my office who had seen her primary care doctor and two subsequent psychiatrists. And she had been on multiple medications and she told me she felt like a guinea pig and nothing was helping her. She hadn't heard about the gene site test, so I told her about it and we did it together. Uh, and then I reviewed the test with her because I think it's important for the patient to be informed about their treatment as well. And GeneSight lays the test out very nicely. It gives me as a physician a lot of information and it's easy for the patient to understand because it's reported in a stoplight analogy with a red, yellow and green column. So I told her we're going to avoid the medicines in your red column. We're going to focus on the medicines in your green column. And by doing so, we found the right medication. A couple of weeks later, she came back to me and she said, oh, this is, this is what I felt like before. This is what I've been looking for. And she, would, she was feeling happy again, whereas she had lost hope before. So uh, it's really, it's a new era in treating depression. Now, somebody is listening to us right now and they're hoping that this could be an answer for them as well. Where can we go online to get some more information? Sure. There's some really good information at genesite.com. I would encourage people to go take a look at the information that's there and then go discuss it with their uh, doctor and um, find out what the right medication is for them. Because in all of medicine, we try to use tests to make sure we're rendering the, the right care for our patients and the treatment of depression should be no different. Absolutely. I totally agree. When we say breakthrough, this definitely falls in that category, doctor. Again, thank you so much for this information today. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.